Hi, I'm Brother Leo Mary, and in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 115 to 119, the Church is talking about the senses of Scripture. Now, there are four senses of Scripture. The first sense is called the literal sense. Now, the literal sense, if you look at a model car or model truck, you can understand the literal sense by looking at the box right here. On the box it says level 2. That means how hard it is to, to fix the, put this truck together. Now if I was thinking correctly, I would have went with a Model 1. It's much easier. And there's a Model 3 and a Model 4. So that can be an understanding of the literal sense. The literal sense is you're trying to find out what the secondary author is trying to say in the Bible. So if he wrote one of the books of the Bible, what is he trying to say? And so you have to ask yourself, what type of book is it? Is it a history book? Is it a poetry book? What type of book helps you to understand what the secondary author is trying to teach? Now, the second thing is you need to understand the time period, also the culture, also like the feelings of the people at that time, the way of speaking. All these things help you to understand the literal understanding or the literal sense of what the secondary author is trying to say. And then, from the literal sense, the spiritual are added on to it, or build on to the literal. So then the spiritual sense is broken into three senses. The first one is the allegorical sense. That is, that you have to read all the Bible focusing on Jesus. All the parts of the Bible point towards Jesus. So the Old Testament, the New Testament, all are focused on Jesus. You can understand that by looking at the truck itself. Jesus is our model. And so this truck is a model, model truck. And so Jesus is our model and everything points to Jesus and we understand everything in Jesus. And so if you look at the Old Testament, you think of Abraham being asked by God to sacrifice his son Isaac. Now as they go on up the mountain, Isaac is carrying the wood, just as Jesus would be carrying the wood of the cross up the mountain. And his father is going to sacrifice. Jesus will be sacrificed for you and me. And so the Old Testament points toward Jesus. That's the first spiritual sense when you read it. The second spiritual sense is the moral sense. You can understand that by looking at the directions, the directions on how to put this model truck together. Because the directions are instructions, instructions on how we are to live or how this truck is supposed to be put together. In the Bible, when you're reading it spiritually, you're trying to find out how we are to live, how we are not to live. So you have the moral sense, like the Ten Commandments or the Beatitudes. That's, you're reading the Bible in an instructional way of how am I to live a better life. The fourth sense, or the third spiritual sense, is the anagogical sense. And this is, we can view realities and events in terms of their eternal significance leading us toward our true homeland. Thus the church on earth is a sign of the heavenly Jerusalem. So we read the Bible as the finishing. What is it all about? We want to be in heaven. And so all the books of the Bible point us towards heaven. That's what the whole revelation is all about, heaven. And so when you think about that, you can think of the, the fourth sense as a finishing project. What the, the truck should look like at the end, with all the beautiful stickers and the paint and everything. That's the finished project. And so it is with the spiritual understanding of the fourth sense of Scripture, we can understand Scripture in a more fuller way by looking at the finishing project, what it's all about. And so when you read paragraphs 115 to 119, you can see how the church wants us to read and understand the Bible and how we need to grow in that understanding of the Bible. And it is in learning these different senses that you can read the Bible in the fullest sense. And remember, the church is the one who interprets. The church has been given that gift and that authority. And so we always have to read the Bible in the light of the church.